Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As we'll see there, the US there, there is now approaching potential resistance at 16,598. Most global equity markets are in fact rising this morning, edging slightly higher after yesterday's uh, gains. Uh, rumors this morning that there's still a large number of Russian troops on the border with Ukraine. Uh, a lot of the NATO um, kind of generals and military kind of leadership are uh, thinking that this humanitarian mission by the Russians might be a pretext for uh, some further involvement by their military. So there are a number of geopolitical factors still in play right now. Um, but nevertheless, the markets are reacting relatively positively um, to this kind of momentum that we've had. Now, we've got the ZDW business report today, which is a German piece of data. Uh, and this is when we really see what the kind of confidence levels are like in, in, in Germany. Euro dollar taking a tumble. Matter of fact, the US dollar is, uh, is moving higher against most other FX pairs this morning. But that's where we are with the US 30. 16,598, basically 16,600 is a potential short-term resistance. Looking at the UK 100, we still had a good run right there in the middle of two ranges, closing in on potential resistance at 6,666. Potential support still remains at 6,581. Not too much to say on the UK 100. It's not quite at the same levels as like the, the US 30, for example. Japan 225 rallying quite well. Lots of volatility, long legged candles, small candle bodies indicative of that volatility. Touching the 55 period SMA, dollar yen's been rising higher. Um, so you've actually been getting a lot of um, buying of the greenback, selling off a safe haven yen. Uh, gold's not really faring that much better. Incidentally, so safe haven's off. Risk assets back on. Japan 225 uh, in the middle of two ranges as ever. Uh, as a cap by that 55 period SMA. Next potential resistance 15488. Moving on to dollar yen. As a dollar yen kind of moving uh, higher, uh, kind of grinding higher on intraday charts, it's, uh, it's moving up nicely. Uh, kind of a, just a very standard uh, at the trend right there. Next potential support 102 spot 90 on that pair. And then looking at crude oil West Texas, uh, feeling the pain again of that glut, lower demands, supply lines protected by the US airstrikes. Uh, arming of the Parish Mariga, blah blah blah. Uh, next potential support at 97 spot 64. Next potential support at 95 spot 40. And we've had two attempts to get back above 99 yesterday and on Friday and a failure to do so. so certainly lots of pressure on West, West Texas crude. Looking at gold, gold is uh, kind of floating around that 21 period SMA, around about $1,300, $1,310. Uh, kind of just basically waiting for the next for the next move um considering that dollar strength the weakness isn't really setting in considering the reversal we've seen in the japanese yen so this is kind of encouraging that if there is a bit more volatility in the markets if those geopolitical aspects do get a lot worse that gold could be well positioned for a move to rechallenge 1332 though we've not got it yet so you know, the gold bears haven't really wrestled complete control there is a little bit of um waiting around to see what happens next so looking at euro dollar, euro dollar feeling the pain again this morning, getting close to one spot 32.96, which is the potential support level on there. Uh, also the tips of these candles, pressure here, as I said, Z Z ZEW report pretty much in play. And then finishing up there with GBP USD, feeling uh, the pain as well, one spot 67.44. Greenback really getting a lot of support by um, by the dollar bills. Um, that is the next potential support level. If we do break below that, then that opens us up, I guess, down to around about one spot, uh, 67, bang on the nose. In fact, I'm gonna have to put that level on there just now. Um, but certainly, cable has not had a good uh, last 20 odd sessions. Feeling the pain there a little bit, it's down about four cents on the dollar. So. Economic data wise, ZEW report is all you really need to know about today. This is a very important German piece of data, very important for Euro dollar and you and Germany 30. Um, very much people will be looking at this with great interest as Germany seems to be the most exposed to potential Russian sanctions. And this is kind of business confidence for the local business leaders to think about the uh, particular com uh, think about the country's future and their economy. And basically most analysts are thinking this could be one of the lowest uh, ZEW reports since the euro crisis in 2013 um so we'll see that as that comes out make sure you set your alarms make sure you check the chart forum for trade um kind of technical analysis setups from a global analyst team uh, just to get a bit of a flavor for the support and resistance levels are make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next